हेलो एवरीवन जैसे मैंने लास्ट वीडियो में बोला था आई एम गोइंग टू डू अ क्वेश्चन ऑन ऑपरेटिंग कॉस्टिंग नाउ दिस क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड टू ट्रांसपोर्ट बिजनेस इट इज अगेन अ टैक्सी ऑपरेटर एंड आई हैव टेकन दिस क्वेश्चन लेट अस रीड द क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट एंड देन वी विल प्रोसीड टू सॉल्विंग दिस क्वेश्चन नाउ व्हाट इज द क्वेश्चन से सिंह हैज स्टार्टेड अ बिजनेस विद अ फ्लीट ऑफ 10 टैक्सीज so first thing that we need to note here is that there are 10 taxis the various expenses are cost of each taxi salary of office staff that is 1500 per month salary of garage staff that is 2000 per month rent of the garage rupees 1000 per month driver's salary per taxi rupees 400 per month then we have road tax and repairs per taxi rupees 2160 per annum यहाँ पे ध्यान देना ये पर एनम है इंश्योरेंस प्रीमियम एट रुपीज एट फोर परसेंट ऑफ कॉस्ट पर एनम अगेन दिस कॉस्ट इज ऑल्सो पर एनम नाउ इफ यू सी दिस क्वेश्चन आई सी दैट सम ऑफ द एक्सपेंसेस आर फॉर ऑल द टैक्सेस जैसे द सैलरी ऑफ गैरेज स्टाफ नाउ गैरेज स्टाफ को जो हम सैलरी दे रहे हैं दिस इज ऑब्वियसली फॉर ऑल द टैक्सीज एम आई राइट एम आई राइट सैलरी ऑफ ऑफिस स्टाफ अब इसको हम इस टैक्सी एक एक पर्टिकुलर टैक्सी के लिए दे रहे हैं या फॉर ऑल द टैक्सीज ऑब्वियसली फॉर ऑल द टैक्सीज द सेकेंड थिंग विच आई हैव नोटेड डाउन हियर इज कुछ कॉस्ट पर मंथ है कुछ कॉस्ट पर एनम है सो वी हैव टू फिक्स फर्स्ट थिंग फर्स्ट थिंग दैट वी नीड टू फिक्स इज वेदर वी आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट द कॉस्ट ऑफ ऑल द टैक्सीज टूगेदर और ऑफ वन टैक्सी एंड द सेकेंड थिंग दैट वी नीड टू कंसिडर हियर इज वेदर वी आर गोइंग टू कैलकुलेट द पर एनम कॉस्ट और पर मंथ कॉस्ट आगे बढ़ते हैं The life of the taxi is three lakh kilometers, with scrap value estimated at rupees fifteen thousand. The taxi runs on an average four thousand kilometers per month. This kilometer information is given per month, of which twenty percent it runs vacant. That means its occupancy is eighty percent. Petrol consumption is is nine kilometers per liter, costing rupees six point three zero per liter. That means the petrol consumption information is not directly given to us. We'll have to calculate the cost of petrol. Oil and other sundry expenses amounts to rupees ten per hundred kilometers. Now, what is the requirement of the question? First requirement: calculate the effective cost of running a taxi per kilometer. So that means they want to know the per kilometer cost. Second, if the higher charges are rupees one point eight per kilometer, find out the profit Mr. Singh may expect to earn. So before you start any question, you need to first think what is the requirement of the question. Now they are asking us the cost of running a taxi per kilometer. Now how? any time whenever you see a question just try to calculate behind you know you will uh, automatically understand where to start now it is asking me the cost per kilometer how will i calculate the cost per kilometer cost per kilometer i will be able to calculate as cost divided by total kilometers total cost divided by total kilometers don't you think so now is the total kilometers information given to us yes 4000 kilometers per month next is total cost is the total cost information given to us yes there are a lot of information given to us we can calculate the total cost so then if i calculate total cost by total kilometers i'll be able to get the cost per kilometer we will jump to the next question next part of the question later first if we have cracked how to do this let us first finish this now as i told you we are going to stick to the format now total kilometers is directly given to us so we don't have to find out the total kilometers we have to find out the total cost so i will write down here statement for calculation of total cost ab aap socho whether it is better to calculate the cost of one taxi or of all the taxis obviously for one taxi so total cost of one taxi for one month or for one year you can take anything i will take for one month so total cost of one taxi per month so 
in that case let us first prepare our format now i know i have to do certain calculations here so i will prepare three columns first column will be my particulars second bigger column for the computation and the third column for the amount this is answer number 1 i always tell my students that please pay attention to the format it is very important and it is uh, very important with respect to uh, from the view point of the valuer as well so coming back to our question let us start from the beginning and one by one we'll go till the end first is cost of the taxi is rupees 75000 is cost of the taxi an expense for us no it is not an expense but the depreciation will be our expense so the first expense that we are going to talk about is the depreciation how will we calculate the depreciation the cost of each taxi is 75000 so rupees 75000 at the end what will be the scrap value the scrap value will be rupees 15000 minus the scrap value of 15000 now this is the cost for how many kilometers for 3 lakh kilometers and in one month it is going to run for 4000 kilometers so what will be the depreciation for 4000 kilometers so that will give us 60000 divided by 3 lakh into 4000 that is equal to rupees 800 next cost so we are done with this next is salary of the office staff that is rupees 1500 per month now office staff so obviously this will be shared by all the 10 taxis salaries of office staff so 1500 per month we are calculating per month only so no problem into we have to calculate for one taxi and this is the cost for 10 taxi so rupees 150 next salary of the garage staff similar adjustment salary of the garage staff is rupees 2000 per month so 2000 into one taxi divided by 10 taxi so that will be 200 rupees cost is per month so we don't have to convert anything next is rent of the garage again rent of the garage the garage is used by all the 10 taxi so we'll have to calculate the cost of one taxi rupees 10000 per month the cost is anyways per month so that would be rupees Hundred. Next cost. So we are done with this. We are done with this. Driver salary is per taxi. That is rupees four hundred per month. So do we need to do anything? No. It is per month per taxi. That is what we are going to calculate. So I am going to write here given. That is rupees four hundred. Next. road tax and repair it is per taxi good for us but it is per annum so road tax and repair per taxi that is rupees 2160 this is for per annum cost so for 12 months i need to calculate for one month so 2160 divided by 12 will give me rupees 180 this is also done next is insurance premium insurance premium 4% of cost per annum what is the cost the cost is rupees 75000 so 75000 into 4%. Now this is a per annum cost. I need to calculate for 1 month. So divided by 1 by 12. So that would be 75000 into 4% divided by 12 will give me rupees 250. 
Now, is there any other cost except for this? Yes. We have the next cost. These are all kilometer details. The next cost is petrol consumption cost. Petrol consumption. Here in this question, the kilometers are directly given to us. In case the kilometers are not directly given in the question, for this part, you will have to first calculate the kilometers. You can write down a working note here and calculate. For us, it is directly given as 4000 per month. Now, what is the information given for petrol consumption? Petrol consumption is 9 kilometers per liter. Costing rupees 6.3 per liter. So 9 kilometers it runs on 1 liter. Can you tell me 4000 kilometers how many liters? The liters would be 4000 divided by 9. So I will require these many liters of petrol per month. Right? Into what is the cost per liter? The cost per liter is rupees 6.30 per liter. So, my cost would be 4000 divided by 9 into 6.3. That would be 2780. Sorry, 2800. Again, I am explaining this point. 9 kilometers, 1 liter. So, 4000 kilometers, how many liters? If you want to see the work, if you want to see how it is working here, let, let me show it to you here. 1, uh, one uh, 9 kilometers in 1 liter. So if I have 4000 kilometers, how many liters? 4000 divided by 9 into 1. That is what I did here. So this is the liters into liter cost. That would be 2800. Next, I have one more cost. So I am done with this cost also. The next cost is the oil and sundries cost. Oil and sundries. The oil and sundry expense is rupees 10 per 100 kilometers. So for every 100 kilometer the cost is rupees 10. So for 1 kilometer what would be the cost? 10 rupees divided by 100 kilometers into this is the cost of 1 kilometer into how many kilometers is our taxi running? 4000 kilometers. So, our answer would be 400 rupees. Right? So, this is the cost. Is there any other cost in the question? No, this is the total cost that we have. So, we have got our total cost. So, my total cost will be plus 200, plus 100, 400, 180, plus 250, plus 2800, plus 400. That would be 5280. This is my total cost. Now, we have to calculate the cost per kilometer. I told you how do we calculate that total cost divided by total Next kilometers. Is the total kilometers for me for the total distance that is point number B. Now here the total distance will not be 4000 kilometers. Why? Because we are out of these 4000 kilometers 20 percent is vacant. So, this cost can be put on the vacant of the vacant kilometers. No, we will not be able to run and uh, we will not be able to get any revenue from this. So, this cost burden has to be put on 4000 into 80 percent of the kilometers. So, that would be 4000 into 80 percent that is equal to 3200 kilometers. I can put the burden of this cost on only 3200 kilometers. The rest 800 kilometers is the loss on which I cannot put the cost burden. So, my cost per kilometer would be A by B that is 5280 divided by 3200 kilometers that is rupees 
1.65 per kilometer. This is the cost per kilometer. Now, what is the second part asked? If the higher charges are rupees 1.8 kilometer per kilometer, what is this? This is the higher charges. Means this is the takings. Find out the profit Mr. Singh may expect to uh, may expect to earn. Now the second part. How do I calculate profit? Profit kya hota hai? Sales minus cost. Yaha pe sale kya hai? Sale is the takings. So takings per kilometer minus the cost per kilometer. That is equal to rupees 1.80 minus rupees 1.65. That is equal to rupees 0.15 per kilometer. That means the profit that Mr. Singh is going to earn per kilometer is 0.5. How many kilometers this this profit? How many kilometers will give? 4,000 or 3,200? 3,200 kilometers will give this profit. So. Total profit would be 0 0.15 per kilometer into how many kilometers? 3200 kilometers. This is the per month profit into 12 months. This profit is for one bus, so one, one taxi into 10 taxis. So that will be 0 0.15 into 3200 kilometers into 12 months into 10 taxis. So that is equal to rupees 57,600. This is the profit that, that Mr. Singh is going to earn in the first year. I hope this question is clear.